Stitch and Saturday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to Tunisian crochet a circle um, using Clover Takumi 6.5 mm crochet hook um, and Lion Brand uh, Pound of Love, which is a worsted weight size 4 yarn. Alright, so first we're going to just do a regular chain. So I'm going to do about Let's do six, two, three, four, five, six. And so instead of doing the foundation row, basically what you're going to do is start off and pick up a loop into the first um, back bump. Then you're going to pull through both of those loops. And then you're going to go in to that second loop again, pick it up. And then go back to your chain and pick up another loop with that bump. And now you're going to do a normal return pass going through the two. So then just working your normal Tunisian simple stitches. But then you're going to go back and pick up a loop into the bump from the chain. So now you have four loops. So each time you're increasing one loop. So then you're going to pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So you can see the shape that's forming on the side is like a round shape. So again, pick up your stitches and then go back into the chain and pick up a loop into that back one. And then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And then you're going to go in and do the normal forward pass here. You just have to be careful about picking up that last stitch. Sometimes you don't see it. And then this is the last bump. And then you're gonna do a normal return pass. So you can see you kind of have like a pie shape forming here. So you're gonna keep doing that, repeat that all the way around until you get a circle. So um, again, pick up a loop into that second stitch and then just pull through both of those. You're going to go back in, pick up a loop, then go in into the simple stitch, pick up a loop, and then you're going to work return pass. It's like you're doing short rows, kind of. So pick up a loop, then pick up a loop, and then you're just going to do a normal return pass. Loop. And then go in and pick up the loop. So that's five. Remember we had six stitches when we began, so we're going to keep those same number of stitches. So pick up a loop, pick up a loop. And something important to remember is you want to go back into the center here so you have a proper circle and just for that last stitch that you pick up so more our turn pass and then repeat that now you got half a circle so you're gonna repeat that another two or three times okay so again what you do is you're gonna pick up a loop into that first stitch second stitch and pull up do a normal return pass. So again, you're gonna pick up that loop and then pick up a loop here and then do a normal return pass. Pick up a loop, pick up a loop, and then go back to your base pick up a loop and then do no more turn pass. So you're picking up one extra loop every um, every time you do the forward pass from the base here. So that's five. And then remember for the last stitch, when you're picking up that last sixth stitch, you want to go into this space so that your circle is so there's your so you're gonna keep going 
until you have a circle. Okay, so uh, and then just do just continue picking up the loops. So I'm doing one one last time. And just do the normal return pass, that's five. And then one last forward pass. So go into the center, fill up that last loop, and then do a return pass. There you have it. And then you want to close up the circle by uh, first you're going to bind off. So bind off how you normally would. And do that. Bind off. I'm gonna actually go in through the center and do another bind off here as well. To make it closest to the center. And then I'm um, gonna fold it over, turn it around, and do a slip stitch down the center here. Um, or you could also just um, sew it up if, if that's what you prefer, but this is easier and just, oops, do a slip stitch across, slip stitch join, like that. Go in, do that, and, and, and do that. So. Doing the slip stitch across. And that's it. That is how you change and crochet a circle. I hope you liked this video and please do follow, subscribe, and um, like and share. And I'll see you next time.